How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. We're gonna start the year off by doing an insane cover up. My client waited 20 years for this and I am honored to do this for him. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. I think I'm ready. <laughs> How long have you been waiting to get that covered up? Man, 20, 20 years. Wow. Yeah. I was done with sad juice, um, and then I started watching your video, and I seen okay. what you could do, and I was like, man, There's maybe hope. you just need to help me out. I was hoping I'd be the only one in Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm rocking your tattoo. <laughs> You're really going to be the only one in Tennessee. <laughs> I had a guy in eighth grade, I was 13 years old, uh -huh. his name was Tom Thompson. If you're, if you're watching this video, I hate you <laughs> for showing me how to tattoo. So anyways, I ordered a tattoo gun. I was kind of a bad kid. And I was on house arrest with a uh -huh. bracelet. And I was tattooing my, myself. So I actually tattooed this flower. But I was sitting there in my room and just going at it. Then everything else just kind of like, you know, just went the cheap route. Now let me size it up really quick. Yeah, you have the space for it too. So that's even better. Okay, I'm gonna keep playing with it. I wanna see, make sure that they look circle. Because of the shape of the arm, it makes the circle look like an oval, so I gotta make sure that I change that. Uh, by doing that, because it turns into an oval, now I have to kind of make the stencil an oval and turn it so it compensates from that extra curve. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> so let me know if I start stinking. <laughs> uh, my wife was like, well, uh, my daughter's name is Roman. Uh -huh. We call her Romy for short. Uh -huh. She was like, Romy's never going to know the old tattoo. And I was like, thank goodness. <laughs> I just want her to know the, the new dada. All right, so the first stencil that I'm gonna be putting on is the Bigger Planet. This one is the one that's gonna kind of create that energy, that, that personality to this piece, because this is a, it's gonna be one of the center of attentions. Um, so I'm almost thinking putting it here because I really like the way it takes the shape of the arm and having the smaller one on this corner. The, the dick, the dick bitch. The what? <laughs> He's just talking about his, I was... I've had a lot of time to think about <laughs> things. <laughs> you don't gotta say it. You don't gotta say it, but that elbow... That's, that's, that's not what I wanted. That elbow looks a little suspicious yeah. there. Me... <laughs> okay. I got you. you see what I mean? Uh -huh. It kind of gives it that ring around that planet, uh -huh. which gives it more to look at. So I'm gonna start here on this bottom um, part of the planet. And there you go. How's that? Wait, when was the last time you got tattooed? Now that's the question. About 15, uh, 10, less than 10 years. Less than 10 years. Still a while, for sure. I feel like after three years, I forget what it feels like. Is this what you remember feeling like? Uh, it feels less. Magical. <laughs> My goal right now, for starting this on the bottom here, is making sure that I... I just want to test out how powerful the ink underneath is and that would let me know how to proceed so right now it looks pretty solid the real test I like how the black is looking already so that's a good sign but the real test is gonna come when I start applying uh, my grays and my lighter colors that's the real test but as in right now skin is taking a super nice super peach black a galaxy, I believe he has a lot of texture, so that is why I like to use the scribble technique to give it more of a dimension to it and not just uh, not just a solid black area. I want to make sure that he has trans uh, transition into different tones. Bit of the boring stuff, which is the black, nothing specific that I'm doing, but now this is where the fun starts because I'm going to be transitioning into a royal blue to bright blue, make it look like nebulas. Uh, it's going to be tight. Uh, I'm overlapping my black right now so I can make sure that it blends in 
nicely and it doesn't look like black blue and bright blue it's more of a smooth transition and this is where I'm gonna start testing how uh, how the blue is gonna affect the the piece that I'm covering up what's my next step how bright I can make this look and how to adjust it to make sure that this piece looks bright and fully covered because that is that is why he's here <laughs> get rid of this tattoo transition into a brighter blue now What I'm doing here is freehanding the Milky Way. At first, I wasn't sure what I was going to be doing on this corner just because it was such an awkward placement. But after looking how everything was turning out, I realized that the Milky Way was the best choice. Towards the end of the day, I couldn't record how I did the bigger planet just because I really had to concentrate and the only thing I could do was capture the way I did the Milky Way. How'd you sleep last night? Terrible. Terrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I was having to try to sleep on my back. Oh, because you can't turn, right? No, what what side do you sleep on regularly? Right. right. Oh, uh, I would like to provide a bed where you can take a nap okay. if you want throughout right. the day. <laughs> on the second day, <laughs> on this day too. Mm. I'm gonna have you relax your arm now. Here it is, we got day two on this outer sleeve project. We got the astronaut on the lower part. It is very difficult to see anything uh, on this lower part because of how much uh, is going on. So many things are going on that it's really hard to see the astronaut, but it's okay. We're gonna make it happen. Today, I definitely wanna explain my process throughout the, the lower part of this outer sleeve cover up and I wanna just share a little bit more of my process and how I'm gonna do it, things that I'm changing, things that I'm gonna be adding or taking out to adapt because it is a very messy cover-up and I have to make sure that I'm 100% I'm and let's get it. Right now, I'm um, finishing up packing in the black. Um, it's the boring part of this tattoo. Uh, there's nothing really uh, special about it. All I'm doing is putting in the solid black where it needs to be before I start. I'm gonna start putting uh, before I start putting in all the little details. And uh, yeah, so right now I'm gonna start applying my medium grays and my light grays and my highlights to start giving a shape. I have my medium gray here and what I'm gonna do is make it a little bit darker just to start fading it out towards the top just so I can add a highlight going from the top to the bottom. So that's gonna help me out a lot to give it perspective and shape to this part of the astronaut suit. The tattoo that he has underneath is also gonna be helping me out to apply those tones easier but there's some areas that have some line work that it's gonna get a little tricky, but I just gotta be patient with it. I'm using a 14 round liner with a voltage of a 5.0. Packing in solid grays. I wanna be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't hear shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place, all this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The noose, if it's some loose shit, a stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift. Oh. I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign 
no mercy in this world Just hunger, thirsty persons In different versions Each do what they That shit worsens Why? Pull back the curtain And you'll see the different vermin We all have different burdens That all seem to cause disturbance Y'all, so do me a favor Don't treat me like a neighbor Don't need the different flavors Of your problems just to savor I've got my own issues I need a comb to get through Don't need to groan with you Just go get your wrong I'm finishing up the background here of the astronaut and once I'm done with this area I'm gonna start with the visor of the helmet and I'm just gonna freestyle it. Uh, inside of it there is a lot of glare, there's a lot going on inside of the, the astronaut visor so I'm gonna use the shapes that I, that I already has to create some sort of glare or reflection and make it look like there's more because I don't want to just go black. I want to make sure that there's dimension, that there is more to look at. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's going to be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work cause my boss is a jerk and I'm not even that paid I need a change in my life cause I don't feel alive and there's nothing that makes me happy Oh, Hold my beer for a minute, I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip and I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there till I feel like I'm winning all oh, And this is just the beginning, I need a big change, help me feel like living I need a big swing, home runs I'm hitting and I'll never look back Moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams we all want things But what you gon' do for it? How you gon' move for it? What you gon' be? And do you believe You can do anything But what you gon' do for it? How you gon' move for it? What you gon' be? This is my game to play, to claim a brand new name, oh And I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm a bit nervous that I might screw Everything up that I've ever done, but what's the point of living if you ain't having fun? I guess I'll try this, try that, might miss, gotta find what I'm good at I, guess I'll I gotta say, this project was insanely difficult I had to literally give this man a brand new outer sleeve and I'm really excited to show you guys the results and I appreciate you guys so much for everyone who's supporting me in 2023. I hope you guys keep continuing to support me on 2024 and I'm going to be putting out so many more videos and so many more projects and I can't wait to show you everything I got planned for this year. So with that being said, if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you will entertain. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.